Hello, it's Northwest Trains. I'm Tom. Now, following on from the uh, Christmas haul video, I've uh, got these two out. So, these are my Hattons P Class and the DJ Model Stroke Hattons 14XX. Uh, we're going to get them out, uh, see what upgrades have been done to them, and uh, give them a run on the layout. So, uh, hope you enjoy. Right, I'm just uh, getting these out of the boxes now. Um, I'm sure everyone's familiar with the uh, cube packaging that these uh, come in. Uh, very good, I think. It's very, very hard to damage your logo. I just noticed a little piece here now. I think it's a do door off the uh, the cab. So I hope that's not an accident, whatever it was. Um, but yeah, let's take a look now. Right, so I'm not doing a proper unboxing on these because there's plenty of them around. But... Um, I do think uh, they got something right with the packaging on these. Right, just, oops, let's just get that out. And we'll uh, just get rid of the boxes and then take a look. Right. First thing I've noticed is something wrong with the uh, the rear pony truck <laughs> because it's lifting the front wheels off so this must have been set back too tight or it's been crushed or something hmm. that's uh, very very odd so uh, hmm. I think we have a bit of a glue mark on there I'll have to check that right that's not a very good start, is it? Right, let's try the P-Class. Oh, let's just um, have a look at it first. So we've had a front lamp fitted. I see some of the paint come off it. I don't know if that's the glue they've used or... Well, it's a little bit loose. But it'll add to the weathered effect, I suppose. Hopefully there's nothing damaged. I can see driver and fireman. And to be honest, I can't really see... Um, any of the speaker parts or the sound parts. I presume that's what they're sat on by the looks of it. I think, yeah, it looks like the driving fire when sat on it, so that's hidden quite well. Overall, I mean, I've been dying to show this logo for a long time, but it's been pointless as I can't really run it. But I think these were absolutely stunning models when they come out, and this is like my favourite livery. I know I said this for the Genesis coaches. But just the livery and the, the way it's been applied to this model is absolutely stunning, I think. I think it's it's definitely the best livery out there. Like I say, I was always a fan of the LMS. Um, but the actual livery, I think, is brilliant on this particular loco. Right. <clears throat> I'm going to have a little fiddle around with this. And uh, hopefully find out what's wrong with it. So uh, I don't want to be spending hours on camera doing that. So uh, I'll be back in a sec. Right, I managed to sort that, I think. Not too sure what was wrong with it, but um, I just tightened up this screw and uh, plonked it back on the track. You wouldn't think it would make that much difference, but it seems to have done. Unless I just uh, didn't put it on the track properly to start with, but um, fingers crossed, should be fine. Um, again, another really nice model. It's a shame DJ models uh, went out of business. Um, I know there was a, quite a few critics about their models, but I, I thought they were quite good. And I also heard that they were paying to sound fit, hence the uh, why I got it from Olivia's Trains, because they're meant to be the best around. Um, right, <clears throat> it's uh, started up. I've took the P-Class off for now because um, they're both set to number three at the moment, as far as I know. So, right, let's uh, start the loco up, number one. And again, just in case uh, you want to pause this, you can have a quick look at the different sound features you get. Olivia's trains. Okay, so we've got, uh, let's just try a little forwards and backwards before we uh, go through the sound. Speed step one. A little bit of a jolt there. Again, this loco hasn't been ran for two years, easy. 
So a little bit of a jog there moving off. Mm, not too impressive so far. But... Right. Before we go any further with it, just forward again. I'm going to give it a good run on the line and uh, let's see what we can do. Right, so let's whistle number two. Uh, whistle three. Cold shoveling five, which also should be the firebox flicker. Yeah, that's definitely working. Uh, let's turn that off. So we got guards whistle seven, drivers acknowledgement eight, uh, buffer clash nine. Uh, so we got clang squeal, water fill, rail clack, bird songs. Um, we'll go through some of them later. There's no smoke unit on this, as far as I know. So the cab lights should be on. Number four. Yeah, that comes on. And we should have a light on the front. Yep, yeah, and that comes on as well. That's quite bright. So, um, we'll just move this off the track in a sec. And we'll have a look at the P-Class. Okay, so the lamp's in a different position on this engine. I presume be a lot of hassle trying to get it up there in front of the chimney okay so again number one driving sounds now let's see what this one's like on the crawl so speed set one so far so good right so that's just speed set one and reverse again Okay, not the slowest, slowest, but certainly smooth. Right, change direction again. So lights, zero. That works. Not too sure you can see it from the camera, but it is on. Um, again, cab light, that's on. Now, uh, whistle. Whistle again. Coal shoveling. So firebox flicker again. Again, you can't see too much of the camera just yet. In fact, let's just pull the loco forward a little bit. Yeah, you might just make out the fire flicker. I'll do a little close-up of it in a sec. Okay, so let's try some of the ones we didn't try on the other one. So we got water fill, 12. Bird song fourteen. F ten coupling clank. Yeah, guard whistle. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty pleased with the P class so far. Turn the sound off. That'll go lovely with the uh, Hatton's Genesis coaches. So, um, just a bit of a question mark over this one now. I also should have mentioned uh, these have a stay alive fitted. So, um, hopefully there'll be no um, cutouts on this on the layout. As you, as you know, I always mention about the insult frog points, especially the Hornby ones, have a big dead spot on them. So, for the likes of these two. Hopefully now it shouldn't be a problem. It did work, work with the web coal tank. So um, yeah, let's get them on the route. And uh, I'm going to run them in for a um, good half an hour. Make sure uh, you know, they're working okay. Especially the 14XX. And then uh, we'll uh, pull some coaches.
Right, we've given the um, 14xx a good run round either direction. So that's speed step one now. As you can see, it's a lot better than it was. I was worried it was going to keep jump starting all the time because that's what my uh, Helgen Class 05 does. Um, sort of got used to it now, but it is a bit annoying. It's not quite as slow a crawl as the P class, but to be honest, I'm happy with it. And with the stay alive in it, it shouldn't stall at all. So um, that's a nice added feature. So just go up to speed step three now. So up to two to three. And there we can collect its auto coach. And uh, we'll stick the sound back on and uh, give it a bit of a run.
Right, that concludes uh, this uh, running video, an unboxing video if you like. Um, very happy with them. Uh, it's like getting two brand new locos from scratch. Um, I'm not going to say how much they were because it was a present, but you can soon find out if you go on Olivia's Train's website. So um, let me know if you've done similar modifications to your locos and if you think it's worth it or not. Or are you quite happy with, this, with uh, just an actual motor sound of the trains? Um, originally, uh, when I first set up this layout, I completely boycotted DCC because I, I was so used to the analog. But um, I mean, either way, I'd have still done this hobby, whether it was DC or DCC. Um, but this is what I chose, and I'm happy with it. So um, again, if you're still on your Christmas holidays, hope you're having fun with the family and playing trains, and. Um, Keep an eye out for the next video, it'll either be the New Year's running session or it'll be a Class 59 unboxing. Um, again, it all depends how much free time I get. So um, in the meantime, hope you're all having fun and having a great holiday. So uh, bye for now.